What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu. You're watching Rage and Nation Mail, episode number 59. This is just a web series where I open up fan mail from the Rage and Nation and check this out. I would like to say what's up to Hazali for sending me this cool Transformers Optimus Prime front of his truck t-shirt. Check that out. I'm wearing it right now. And Hazali, you're an awesome person human being you're definitely one with the Autobots <laughs> alright so thanks a lot for this t-shirt I love it it's awesome alright so what we're gonna do he now is we're gonna open some open up some letters from the Raging Nation and we got a couple letters we also have a box and the first thing we're gonna open is a letter from Evan from Indiana Dear Alex you, I am Evan and I am 12 years old and my birthday is September 1st, 2001. I'm going to be a teenager next year in 2015. I'm a very huge Transformers fan. The only bad thing is that I have to wait until I'm 14 years old to have a Facebook account. I wonder if Unicron is going to be in Transformers Age of Extinction. Will there be a Henke Unicron in stores? What is your favorite Dark of the Moon character besides the Dreads? I went to Disney World five, six, or seven months ago, and I was very happy. You are an awesome person of the Rage Nation, your friend, Evan. And there's a Transformers comment right there. <laughs> That's a Transformers comment. P.S. What is your second favorite character in Revenge of the Fallen? Okay, as for Unicron, I think that Unicron is going to be hinted in Transformers Age of Extinction, but they're not even going to call it Unicron. They're going to call, they're going to say that Lockdown's ship, or rather Lockdown came from a master. Okay, he has a master, and um, so I don't think that, that Unicron's actually going to be mentioned, except for the hint of Unicron. And uh, who is my favorite Dark of the Moon character besides the Dreads? Uh, Sideswipe has always been cool. I, I, I've always liked Sideswipe. Um, and, uh, 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 who who is my second favorite character in Revenge of the Fallen? I don't even know who is my my first favorite character in Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a very tough one. You know why? Because a lot of the characters weren't given a whole lot of screen time. <laughs> so, I can't answer that. I, I have a hard time answering that. Uh, let me think of Decepticons. Um, uh, whew. That's a really uh, oh uh, Ravage. I really like Ravage in uh, in in uh, Revenge of the Fallen. I can't say that he's my first or second favorite, but um, I do like him. All right, so thanks a lot, Evan, for sending me this. So this next letter is from Sean, and this is going to be very very cool because we're going to be opening a letter from Sean. <laughs> Whoa. We got Transformers drawings and a letter. Okay, here we go. Dear Alex you, I love your videos. Read this in your most ridi- Okay, read this in my most ridiculous voice. Dear Alex you, I love your videos. Read this in your most ridiculous voice. I had a made an Autobot for your videos to show to the world, and <laughs> the world, and I was feeling creative. So you and I have a YouTube channel with my best friend and Spin Wheels fan. I haven't found it yet, but it's hard to find PS. Do not say this part out loud. Say it or read it in your head. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll read it in my head. <laughs> there I go, I just read it in my head. Okay, well, uh, let's see. From Sean. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Check out this, this, this guy. Look at that. It looks kind of like Hound. He's got... Oh, no, it's Optimus. <laughs> it's Optimus because he's got a shotgun, which... You know, it looks like the shotgun that uh, he he shot um, uh, um, uh, Megatron with, with in Transformers Dark of the Moon. And this looks like uh, a sword. The Sword of Justice from uh, or Judgment from Transformers uh, uh, Age of Extinction. So, very, very cool. Thanks a lot, Sean, for, uh, for sending me this. And finally, let's open up a package. Now... Um, this this was sent uh, by myself. No, I mean I mean I didn't send it to myself. I mean I bought something. I bought something online, <laughs> and I just figured I might as well open it here because um, um, because you know while we're opening up letters and stuff, I might as well just open up a box that uh, that contains something I bought for myself. All right. So first of all, let's just open up the the stuff here first. Get rid of this. Uh, 
thingy. And let's open this box. I already know what this is, just because, uh, you know, well, I, I was there when I ordered it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Now, this is something that I uh, wanted. I mean, really, really wanted. And the other thing was something that I wasn't sure if I wanted, but I thought, this is kind of cool, so maybe I'll, I'll order it. So, the first thing, I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not, but I decided that I eventually wanted it, is the Bandai SH Monster Arts Wolf Predator. This is the Wolf Predator from uh, Aliens vs. Predator. And... I originally thought that the Hot Toys Wolf Predator was one of the best versions of the Predator as a toy, but I couldn't afford that. It's like a $200 figure, right? But then they came out with this one, and this is very movable, like very poseable. It's got a lot of accessories, and I figured, you know what, as long as the detail's there, it's a, and it's also a good size, and it comes with decent accessories... I'm willing to spend money on it. And uh, I forgot how much this cost me. I think probably 60 bucks or something like that. But it's pretty good. I mean, it, it's it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty sweet figure. It's got a lot of extra hands. It's got a helmet. It's got a couple of uh, uh, weapons. So uh, very cool. So this is the first thing I picked up. Now, I wasn't sure if uh, I really, really wanted it. It wasn't actually on my shopping list. But then I was just shopping around. I was just surfing online. And I just saw this and I was thinking... This is pretty sweet, okay? So there you have it. Now, the one thing that I really, really wanted that I posted about in another video was I asked myself, should I get the Mafex Spider-Man from, you know, from the Amazing Spider-Man or should I get the Figma Spider-Man from, uh, uh, what's that company called? It's Figma, uh, 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 it starts with an M, uh. Uh, no, it doesn't start with an M. It's Good Smile Company. Good Smile Company is a Japanese company. They have a sub uh, sub brand called Figma, and or Max Factory. That's why I said it comes with an it starts with an M. This is Max Factory Figma action figure series. I got it. I ended up picking the Figma, uh, uh, the Amazing Spider Man, uh, Spider Man figure. And this is like a super posable Spider-Man figure. I already have a Spider-Man Reveltech figure. Now let's take a look at the Reveltech actually. No, maybe not. <laughs> it's, it's in my closet and it's buried a bunch under some other boxes. Uh, but uh, anyways, by having this, uh, I, I figured that uh, I won't need any other Spider-Man figure unless the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Figma uh, 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 Spider-Man figure is cooler. <laughs> But I actually like this uh, mainly because it comes with a backpack. I mean, he, how cool is that? It comes with a backpack and it also comes with a, a hand, which also is holding a cell phone right there. So very cool. And I'm, I'm excited to play with this guy because I, I, I really like Spider-Man. I love the fact that he's super poseable. You need to get a Spider-Man toy that can pose. Okay. It's very important that he can pose. If he can't pose, then... It's kind of a crappy toy if it can't really pose that well. I want to put these guys in crazy poses, all right? Because I want to have a lot of fun with them. All right, so there you have it. That's all I got to show you. And uh, that is I picked up the the, uh, the, the Spider-Man from Max Factory Figma and also uh, the Wolf Predator from SH Monster Arts from Bandai. All right, so there you have it. Once again, I'd like to thank Sean and Evan for your letters and artwork. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for all your enthusiasm and excitement about my channel. I really appreciate the support. And also, thanks for showing your enthusiasm for Michael Bay's Transformers Age of Extinction because it is coming soon. And um, there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. <laughs> As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter at Rage at Raging Nation. Check out my Instagram photos at the Raging Nation. I'll see you next time. My name is Alex Yu, and I'll peace out. New York International Auto Show of the Chevy Formers. These are some close-up photos of crosshairs as distinct.